Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue, and in this video, I am gonna show you how to rust stainless. Now, I'm gonna use 304 stainless. I've got a couple of methods to show you. Now, I'm sure in the comments, people are gonna say, you can't rust stainless, and they're correct. There is a workaround, though, to get rust onto stainless, and it'll give you a pretty cool look. Although it's different than mild steel, you can get it. I'm going to use two samples of 304 stainless. Now, I'm not sure if you can see here, but there's a finish on 304. It's known as a 2B mill finish. Now, this side has already been polished to a degree, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip both of these over and we're going to prepare this side to accept the rust. Now, the secret is to take some mild steel. Any mild steel will work. It doesn't have to be rusty, but it does need to be mild steel. You want to take a flap wheel, which is something that you can use on a grinder. You might be able to use a sander, but I find that the flap wheel works the best. You're going to use the flap wheel on the mild steel and basically clean the mild steel. Now, what you may not realize is that by doing that, you're getting small particles of mild steel in the flap wheel. Now, you're going to use the same flap wheel on your stainless. And what you're doing is you're contaminating the stainless with the mild steel. Now you're prepped and ready to add rust to the stainless. Now, as a control, I'm not gonna put any mild steel here and you will see somewhat of an effect, but it won't be as drastic as the area that has the mild steel. Now, here's the secret. Now, because I'm using small sample pieces, I can use plastic bags, but you can actually use like a trash bag or a plastic wrap or something like that. You want to cover your stainless once it's been treated to prevent evaporation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these bags and I'm going to put this sample inside. We're going to do the same thing with this sample as well. Now, as mentioned, I'm using acid and I'm using vinegar. I'm just using regular white vinegar. And I'm going to pour a small amount into the plastic bag. And then I want to seal the bag. Now, with the acid, it's caustic, so you want to make sure that you use the proper protection. Make sure you wear gloves, use a respirator, and eye protection. I'm using a muriatic acid, which typically used in swimming pools. Just like the vinegar, I'm going to pour a little bit of the acid into the bag. Now I picked up the acid at your local hardware store or swimming pool supply. Make sure you seal the bag. And now I just want to make sure that the acid is fully covering the sample and I'll flip that over and do the same on the back side. And then you're going to do the same thing on the vinegar sample as well. Make sure you get both sides fully covered. So, in this sample, the acid did get pretty good. Now, I've gone ahead and I've rinsed this with water, and this is what you get, 304 stainless 11 gauge with acid. This one, not so much. There's a little on the flap wheel side, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it didn't really take. Now I'm going to move these off to the side and these are some 16 gauge samples that I did before the 11 gauge. It's a bit thinner than the 11 gauge and, and this is the acid and on the 16 gauge it didn't do as well as the 11 gauge. It's strange. I tried acid on the 16 gauge but now this is the vinegar on the 16 gauge and it really did amazing so I don't know they both seem to work 
but the vinegar on the 11 gauge not so much and the vinegar on the 16 gauge which is great but i don't know what do you think Okay, so as you can see, you can get rust onto stainless. Uh, the acid seemed to work best on the 11 gauge and the vinegar seemed to work best on the 16 gauge. Don't ask me why um, that's different. I don't know. Maybe the thicker gauge has more chromium in there. I have no idea. Um, this is just what I have found and I'm sharing it with you. So the idea for rusting stainless not only came from, you know, you guys asking me, can you rust stainless? About uh, two years ago, I had a client ask me if I can rust a stainless milk can that was her grandmother's. And I put it into a black uh, construction bag and I sprayed acid in there and I tied it up and just kind of forgot about it. Now, I have no time frame with regards to when it started to rust or when it finally got to its final process because literally I forgot about it. Um, and it wasn't until maybe eight months, nine months later that the client says, hey, what about my milk can? I opened up the bag and wow, it, it rusted. Uh, so you can see here that even something, you know, that's a little larger than the samples that I gave you did rust. Keep in mind, the idea here is to keep the acid or the vinegar from evaporating. You want it to stay uh, on the material. Now, another way to uh, get rust onto stainless, and I'm sorry, I've got uh, wind coming through the workshop right now, is you have to heat the metal. Now, heating the metal uh, will also uh, cause the metal to uh, warp. And if you want to do small areas of rust, that's fine. But the heat will also break down the chromium molecules and allow stainless to rust. But hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna be a windy day today in the shop.